This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. The Waco Tribune Herald reports a Baylor University freshman has been identified as the person who was found dead in the back seat of a burning Cadillac. McLennan County Sheriff's Chief Deputy Randy Plemons said Friday that dental records have confirmed that 18-year-old William Patterson was the person found Thursday morning in the vehicle. He was burned beyond recognition. Plemons says officials have been analyzing the car for evidence. The cause of death has not yet been released. Patterson, who graduated last year from Churchill High School in San Antonio, was studying film and digital media at Baylor. A spokeswoman for the Northeast Independent School District says Patterson was known as a popular football player and an Eagle Scout. WFAA.com reports Dallas firefighters are still trying to determine what started the three-alarm fire at an East Dallas strip mall. The flames sent customers and employees scrambling into the parking lot on a frigid Friday, just after 8 a.m. Fire investigators say the flames started inside the business stereo zone just minutes after it had opened for business in the 2700 block of South Buckner Boulevard. Firefighters said no one was hurt, but four businesses have been damaged. Fire investigators are now looking for the source and cause of this early morning fire. The Associated Press reports authorities have found the body of a pilot missing after his plane was found in an East Texas lake this week. Captain Gary Dugan, Texas Parks and Wildlife Department game warden, says the body of 85-year-old Fred Schulz of Anderson County was found Saturday morning on the rocks of the Lake Palestine Dam. Schulz was reported missing Wednesday after taking off earlier in the day in his single-engine plane from Jacksonville. Dive crews found the plane in Lake Palestine, located just outside of Tyler, on Thursday morning. Department of Public Safety said all indications are the pilot landed the plane in the water without severely damaging the aircraft and was able to open the window. If you'd like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search SkyServe News or Gene Key. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.